Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Perfect World based on novel. So let's start. Shahal returned to Stone Capital silently. The palace hall was cold and cheerless. The spirits of the guards were down, but there were no deities hiding here. Peng 9. Then, Shahal saw Peng 9 in an imperial manner outside the city. He was hiding here to recover his injuries. Fortunately, his life wasn't in danger. Your Majesty, you killed them. They are all dead. Shahal smiled and said. These people were all shocked, and then their expressions immediately became brilliant. Several of them were so inspired they began to tremble. Where is Ching Feng? Shahal asked. He didn't see him here. When he mentioned this question, several individuals' expressions darkened. Shahal didn't care about his own safety and guided the three deities away. This made Qingfeng's heart burn with worry and anxiety. Fearing that Shahao would die, he departed through the altar to invite experts to rescue him. It was clear that Qingfeng went to Stone Village to invite Hairy Ball and Little Red. One other thing was that another deity appeared in the ruins of Heaven Mending Pavilion, destroying everything and searching around for something. It was as if it was trying to open the ancient holy courtyard. When Shahao heard this, he felt great alarm. Hairy Ball and Little Red still ended up coming. They had just lit their divine flames, so they were still far from being comparable to the seven deities. If they fought like this, it was quite likely that they would die. However, he didn't blame Ching Feng. You have to understand that after the battle in Western Border, those two experts didn't bring the divine magical artifacts with them back to Stone Village. How were they supposed to fight now, especially with Western sect expert being the second most powerful one? He was more powerful than Yang Li, Pangolin, and the underworld deity combined. Shahao seemed to have gone mad as he searched everywhere. He once again saw Hairy Ball's broken bones and fur that was stuck together with blood. He noticed the other part of Little Red's broken wing. This made him wish to go insane. He raised his head towards the heavens and roared. Only at this moment was he like a fifteen-year-old youth and not that stunning genius, Little Stone, that everyone in this world saw. He felt helpless, as well as incomparable grief and indignation. Shahal searched the entire mountain range. Eventually, he left dejectedly. He directly returned to the Imperial Palace. He carefully opened up a passage, and then he erased all traces. Only then did he rush in, heading towards Stone Village. Shahal made his way down from the altar. He saw Ching Feng kneeling on the ground while crying loudly. There was a coffin there, indicating that things were bad. Hairy ball, little red. Shahal screamed outwards, blood spitting out from his mouth and tears emerging from his eyes. You two have died too miserably. Then, little red's cry also sounded. Shahal was immediately stupefied, not daring to believe his ears. He then saw hairy ball and little red. All of his sadness immediately changed to great joy. He immediately cried out loudly. Meanwhile, everyone in Stone Village also began to shout loudly, throwing themselves over. Hower, we thought that you had died. We thought those three deities killed you. Little How, you are still alive. This is too great. Everyone is still alive. This really is a great feeling. Shahal wiped away the tears from his face and revealed an embarrassed expression. This was the first time he acted so out of character in front of everyone. He saw Hairy Ball and Little Red. The two of them suffered severe injuries. Hairy Ball was completely missing the lower half of its body, while Little Red's wings had been torn off. They were in extremely miserable conditions. I thought that you guys had died. Shahal said. We really were about to die. That golden body was too powerful. We couldn't fight against it at all, said Hairy Ball. It grimaced in pain from the injuries covering its body. Even its foundation had been damaged. No worries. I have the Sun God Tree's divine liquid here, one for each of you. You'll be fine in half a year. Shahal said. He brought out a jade container and gave each of them a drop. He only obtained three drops in total, and one of them was given to his parents. The remaining two were given to these two powerful individuals. What about that Western sect expert? Shahal asked. Dead. We barely killed him. Little Red said. 
he died. Shahao didn't dare believe what he heard. This didn't seem to make sense at all. What did Harry Ball and Little Red have that could fight against the second powerful deity? The disparity between them was too great. We use Stone Village's ancestral artifacts, said Harry Ball. Stone Village had two ancestral artifacts. One was a piece of bone, and the other was a beast skin. This time, Harry Ball and Little Red used these two ancient artifacts. They broke through the seals on these artifacts, and they ended up being even more powerful than the two true divine magical artifacts from Stone Country. Shahal was stupefied. Even if that is the case, that person should still be extremely difficult to kill, right? You're correct. We had just lit our divine flames, while that Western sect expert had already had his ignited for over a hundred years. Harry Ball and Little Red heard Qingfeng's suggestion and brought the cauldron with them. At the crucial moment, the cauldron displayed a miracle. Its defensive strength was astonishing, and hiding within it could avoid more than 90% of the damage. In addition, at the most critical moment, when they were about to fall, the cauldron released a streak of pill flame that burned Western sex expert into ashes. A sparkling white bone cauldron. Shahal was stunned. He never expected this type of transformation. Unfortunately, it was too late no matter what they now said, because that cauldron had already disappeared. Stone Clan's ancestral artifacts really were mysterious. They were actually so unordinary, exceeding everyone's expectations. What do I do? There are three deities left. How do I deal with them? How can I get rid of this great trouble? Shahal said to himself. He couldn't think of any methods. Perhaps he could only face them alone. Little big bro, you can't go on your own. Ching Feng said. Not long ago, Shahao entered the imperial palace without any regard for his own safety, drawing the three deities away to save everyone else. He himself almost died in the process. Little Uncle Hao, you can't die. Yeah. Little Uncle Hao, you can't abandon us. Everyone was so worried just now. You can't be like that there is still a gleam of hope, said Shahao, comforting everyone. He had no other choice. He didn't want to bring disaster to the people around him, so he could only continue moving forward. In addition, with one deity on his own, it might be the best opportunity. He wanted to get rid of this disaster now. When Yang Li, Pang Lin, an underworld deity saw the imperishable golden body battle clothes, they had also said that this had great research value. I have another piece of material that might be able to allow it to transform. Shahal brought out a piece of rock that was bright red and replete with moisture. It seemed almost translucent in his palm. This stone curled with scarlet multicolored light. There were many patterns on its surface, as if it was the feather of a phoenix, appearing layer after layer, clearly containing many profound meanings and mysteries. Needless to say, this was a piece of a heavenly material. What is this? Phoenix pattern stone, Shahal replied. This was the rare precious material he obtained from Southern Meteor, Divine Mountain earlier, when he wanted to settle a grudge from the elder who called himself Southern Meteor. Good stuff. Only, doing it like this is a bit wasteful if it were to fail, Harry Ball and Little Red both spoke like this. How could Shahal not be aware of this? However, this was all he could do. A streak of fiery light surged. The phoenix patterns merged with the stone, and several other materials broke down as well, turning into a translucent fluid before entering the imperishable golden body battle clothes. The cry of a phoenix rang through Stone Village. Not good. Forget about Hairy Ball and Little Red, even the villagers knew that things weren't looking good. These battle clothes were going to break up into components. We did everything we could. Shahal was quite calm. Suddenly, everyone cried out in alarm. The cry of a phoenix sounded, and a scarlet phoenix emerged. It was less than a foot in length, surrounding the broken fragments and releasing blazing radiance. Success. Ching Feng cried out in alarm. Everyone else was stupefied as well. This truly was like the rebirth of a phoenix. Scarlet feathers fluttered about as the divine bird cried out. Shahal activated it, and with a ting sound, divine flames appeared around it as if it had ignited a divine flame. It was like a fist-sized deity. The aura it gave off was extremely powerful, success. This armor can stand off against experts that have ignited their divine flames now. 
It had transcended itself. Little Red cried out happily. This precious artifact was mysterious after all. One could imagine just how powerful it was back then in the archaic times when it hadn't suffered any damage. If I wasn't injured and wore these battle clothes, I would definitely be able to kill a deity or two, said Harry Ball, eager to give it a try. You should focus on recovering. Shahao shook his head. He had never planned on having Harry Ball or Little Red join. These two experts had both recently ignited their divine flames, so if they put this on, they would be able to kill a deity. However, if this item was exposed, they would undoubtedly die. It was because seven deities descended, so if two or three of them moved together, then there was no way out. Right now, Harry Ball and Little Red's injuries were severe, and it already made him feel extremely guilty inwardly, this still isn't enough. If we weren't injured, we could kill a deity by merging with these battle clothes, but your cultivation realm is still too low. Little Red said. I have a little rebirth pill that I can take at the critical moment to break into the supreme expert realm, said Shahao. Under Harry Ball and Little Red's guidance, Shahao carved down a few special symbols to hide the imperishable golden clothes holy aura, making it seem ordinary. Then, Shahao turned around and left. He resolutely departed. Heaven Mending Pavilion had experienced extraordinary changes. There was a large scale construction going on here, and all types of palace halls were currently being rebuilt on the old site. Only, due to the deities that arrived recently, another disaster happened. Shahao appeared, walking over from the distance. He saw this individual. With a sure sound, this deity opened his eyes, releasing two streaks of lightning. He stared at Shahao like an enormous dragon overlooking an insect. His eyes carried ruthlessness and indifference. Shahao stopped moving. He was greatly amazed. This deity seemed extremely powerful, even more formidable than Yang Li and Pangolin. He seemed to blend into the void, becoming vague and indistinct. Only his eyes revealed their great power. Black light flickered around Shahao's body. The imperishable golden body battle clothes covered his body, protecting him underneath. However, there were no powerful divine fluctuations that rippled outwards. After some special methods, these battle clothes looked just like how they did before the rebirth. He was silently enduring, waiting to erupt at the critical moment to take this deity's life, unexpectedly the imperishable golden body, this type of precious artifact passed down from the archaic era. This deity's cold eyes lit up, becoming like a small resplendent sun. They were becoming increasingly intimidating. Moreover, his original body appeared. This was a male that was as brilliant as a heavenly sun. Fine silver scales covered his body, and behind him was a pair of divine wings that looked like they were formed from silver. Yang Li, Pangolin, Underworld Earth's deity, went together to Stone Country Imperial Capital to force you out and kill you, but they then chased after you. So this was the reason why. The deity nodded. Even if he was the one that saw this imperishable golden body, he would also have immediately chased after Shahao to obtain it. This really left him surprised. He originally thought that the three had already killed Shahao and were secretly studying his supreme being bone. He never expected that this wasn't the case. His eyes became incomparably deep. He didn't immediately take action and said, you are just in the formation arrangement realm. For a deity, you are just like pottery dogs and chickens that can't take a single hit. Shahao's expression changed. The other party was too fast. He displayed the 72 transformations turning into a Kuan Peng, and also stuck the earth withdrawal talisman onto his body, disappearing into the distance like a streak of light. With a sure sound, the silver deity stopped in the air. His eyes were cold as he said, so it turned out to be like this. You possess extreme speed, so those three couldn't immediately catch you. Shahao also stopped, maintaining his distance. Your strength isn't enough, so there's no way you could have killed three deities. You could only depend on outside strength, using your extreme speed to guide them there, and that was why you were able to return alive, while they disappeared. A simple test already allowed the deity to understand everything. He spoke this calmly. Shahao's expression congealed. This deity was incredibly sharp. After some simple actions, he immediately found out everything, accurately deducing the conclusion. This deity was like a glorious sun, shining resplendently. An archaic treasure successfully drew their greed. 
they all wanted to obtain it for themselves, so they chased after you. Sigh, truly lamentable. Shahao sighed. This deity was incredibly terrifying. Not only was he sharp, he was also extremely calm. He stood there, unperturbed without making a single mistake. He felt that even if he suddenly erupted with power and used the imperishable golden body to fight against this individual, he still wouldn't be able to accomplish anything. Who are you? What kind of background do you have? Shahao asked. Heavenly country. Yin Yi. His reply was extremely simple. Heavenly country blood sacrifice. When Shahao heard this, his eyebrows stood vertically and bloody veins filled his eyes. Blood sacrifice was precisely heavenly country's ancient technique, leading to this operation of crossing realms. This male named Yin Yi erupted with radiance, becoming several times more brilliant than a heavenly sun, so blinding that it made others' eyes hurt. It was impossible to stare straight at him. Yin Yi displayed his true body and didn't chase after him. He only coldly and emotionlessly opened his mouth, saying, you shouldn't count on my following you into that place of danger. Shahao naturally wouldn't guide him into Western tomb world. He stopped in the void and confronted him, come here and fight. Yin Yi said in a flat tone. You have ignited your divine flame for so many years, yet you still have the nerve to say those words. You want to fight against a little cultivator, like me in a decisive battle. Shahao ridiculed. Yin Yi didn't say anything, and instead sent a palm slapping down. Yu Shahao was furious. Veins bulged on his forehead. If you try to leave, then I'll sweep this place clean. Regardless of whether it is the ruins or people, everything will turn into ashes. Yin Yi was extremely calm, as if what he said was an extremely normal thing. He was cool headed and unperturbed as he stood in the void. If you flee, I will destroy everything you care about. Shahao really wanted to hack him apart and then turn him into mincemeat. Those that came from heavenly country were cold-blooded after all. For the sake of reaching his objective, he would use any means, fair or foul. Heavenly country was an assassin organization to begin with, so there weren't any normal experts that came from this power. Yang Li, Pangolin, Underworld Clan's deity, the three of them wanted to seize the imperishable golden battle clothes and needed to fight over it, but I don't. I am the only hunter here, and I do not want to chase you so the fight will take place right here. Yin Yi coldly said. Shahao was so angry he laughed. Who do you think you are, forcing me like this? Why don't you just tell me to take my own life and offer up the precious clothes? I will give you a fair chance to fight. If you aren't willing to accept it, then I will first destroy this place and then unleash genocide on stone country. You can then feel remorse and despair. Yin Yi coldly said. Shahao's eyes were like lightning. His long hair stood up vertically, and an inferno blazed within him. He truly wanted to immediately kill this deity. This cold-blooded expert from heavenly country was definitely not joking. He really was going to do it. Heaven-mending pavilion can be considered glorious in the ancient era, established by an exiled disciple. What? Shahao was shocked. Ghost Grandpa's death had always been a mystery for him, but today, he obtained the secret information. It was actually related to heavenly country. No wonder this person headed straight here. What execution? You guys definitely ambushed him, Shahao said. He knew how heavenly country did things. So how could they have taken action honorably, death is death, who cares what method he used? He looked at heaven mending pavilion and said, I originally wanted to personally give him a final send off and never expected that it had already declined, becoming a thing of the past. Why don't I just give these ruins a final flattening? He raised his hand to shatter the former location of Heaven Mending Pavilion. Shahao hacked out with the sword. Dark light erupted. Yin Yi said, Once I kill you, this place will fall as well. This type of success is far inferior to the glory of Heavenly Country's powerful senior cutting down Heaven Mending Sect's first ancestor. It is just too insignificant in comparison. Shahao moved his arms to try and scatter it. At this moment, the broken sword shone on its own, erupting like a black sun. A boundless wave of life force descended into this world, leaving all sides shaken. This had never happened before. A figure walked out from the broken sword. Grey hair scattered about his head, ancient clothes covering his body. This was an elder with eyes as sharp as sword radiance, 
his gaze directly piercing into the innermost depths of one's heart. It was unexpectedly Ghost Grandpa. He had reappeared in this world. Only, this time, it was different from the past. His eyes were resplendent without any perplexity or craziness. He was like a deity that descended into this world. The aura he released was powerful and terrifying. What a pity, my final appearance was still not enough to meet the one I was waiting for. Ghost Grandpa spoke. You are that exiled disciple. Yin Yi was shocked, backing up a few steps. Shahao was naturally dumbstruck as well. He truly never expected Ghost Grandpa to appear again, moreover more powerful than he could have imagined. His aura surged like a boundless sea. You are already dead, just a remnant will. Back then, my heavenly country's great expert came down to the lower realm to kill you, and today, I will wipe out your will. Yin Yi shouted. Creature that walks in the world of darkness, you only know how to assassinate, but can still be called a powerful individual. Ghost Grandpa calmly said. After passing away, everything turns into nothingness. No matter how strong you appear today, it is still pointless. I will cut you down. Yin Yi roared. Ghost Grandpa reached out his hand and said, Sword, come. The broken sword in Shahao's hand flew into Ghost Grandpa's hand. Without any excessive movements, it hacked outwards. The symbols that covered the sky were completely crushed. Just a fake deity that has just lit a divine flame, yet you dare to talk nonsense of wiping out the final traces of this place. Is someone like you capable of doing so? Ghost Grandpa calmly said. This type of apathy and indifference made Yin Yi's eyes surge with redness. His killing intent madly surged, truly wanting to roar towards the heavens and go berserk. However, in the end, he chose to escape. As someone from heavenly country, even though he was cruel and cold-blooded, he knew even more so how to endure silently. Ghost Grandpa continued to speak without any fluctuations in his voice. With the broken sword in hand, he lightly hacked through everything in the void. Yin Yi staggered backwards, revealing his true body. His legs had been hacked through. Ghost Grandpa was truly different from before. He wasn't crazy and was instead quite normal. In addition, he became who knew how many times more powerful than before. Yin Yi usually moved about in the world of darkness, so he rarely faced off against an expert head-on. He would always use the most callous and cruel methods to assassinate and eliminate his target. Ghost Grandpa's expression was indifferent. He didn't treat assassins at this level as anyone important. The broken sword in his hand was raised again, and it began to devour the black sword radiance. Old ghost, back then, my heavenly country could kill you, and now, I can erase you from this world as well. Yin Yi shouted ferociously. His fingers were like blades as they quickly sliced about in the void, writing down a few scriptures. Those strokes shone brilliantly in the air without scattering. Kill. Yin Yi staked everything on the line. He ignited his heart blood and carried out a type of bizarre ritual. One could vaguely see countless figures appear. They were all roaring forming an unimaginable wave of resentment that combined together to form a blood-colored devil. It rushed towards Ghost Grandpa. Shahao shivered inwardly. The bloody fiendish aura was just too strong, making others feel like their souls become unstable. Are these the souls harvested during Heavenly Country's blood sacrifice? Ghost Grandpa's eyes surged with radiance, revealing killing intent. Ghost Grandpa's sword descended. The scarlet spear continuously cracked apart. Then, he brandished his sword again, and that enormous blood-colored devil was immediately sliced apart at the waist. Blood energy scattered everywhere. The demonic god is boundless and immeasurable. Kill! Yin Yi shouted. He seemed to have gone mad. He knew that he couldn't escape, and that only by wiping out Ghost Grandpa would there be a chance for him to preserve his life. Soon after, Ghost Grandpa was caught within. Devils howled all around him and countless departed spirits could be seen. They all turned into blood devils, appearing everywhere and seemingly impossible to completely eradicate. Old Ghost, you should just disappear. Yin Yi shouted loudly. Ghost Grandpa appeared indifferent. He raised up the broken sword high into the air and hacked it downwards. World in blood sacrifice, heavenly country's deities will reappear. Yin Yi roared loudly. His body had already started to shrivel up. 
he continued to burn his essence blood to help this altar display its power. Ghost Grandpa walked outwards, pointing his sword forward. That bright red altar released a catcher sound. It began to crack apart, and then it completely exploded. Yinyi looked like he was petrified. Such a powerful ancestral magical artifact was destroyed just like that, as if it was as fragile as a ceramic vase, shattered under a single sword strike. He moved his silver divine wings, raising up great winds to flee as quickly as he could from this place, but it was still completely futile in the end. Dark light flashed past, and sword light surged. His silver wings fell off and blood splashed everywhere. Yin Yi fell downwards, the shriveled state of his body looking like that of a gal. How are you so powerful? He was truly unwilling to accept this. He was actually going to die under the hands of a dead person. Ghost Grandpa spoke, his face full of regret. He wasn't able to wait until those from his past came and only encountered a younger generation individual that only had his divine flame ignited. This was the final time that he could make an appearance. When Shahao heard this, he trembled inwardly. That rusted sword inserted in Ghost Grandpa's head turned out to have been refined by his most powerful will. Now that it had dissolved, he truly revived, and as a result, he became powerful beyond imagination. Ghost Grandpa didn't say much either. A sword hacked out, sending Yin Yi's head flying diagonally. It then exploded in mid-air, turning into a bloody mist. His body and soul were thus wiped out. I am about to disappear, and it is impossible for me to ever reappear, said Ghost Grandpa. The expression on his face was calm, carrying only a bit of regret. Senior, Shahao didn't have what was the right thing to say. In the end, he told Ghost Grandpa about how the divine vine had sprouted and once again took root. This is the best news I've heard before my ultimate death. That vine is like my child. Ghost Grandpa's expression became gentle as he recalled fondly of the past. There was joy, but also sorrow. Senior, will you go and see it? Shahao asked. I won't. This is its new life, so it should no longer have any memories of me. Ghost Grandpa shook his head. Then, this place became a lot quieter. There were no words, only the sound of wind rushing past. This life of mine, only after a long time, did Ghost Grandpa release a light sigh. He looked at Shahao and said, Your innate talents are extraordinary. Are you willing to return to Heaven Mending Sect in my place? He was an abandoned disciple. This was something that had always been gnawing at his mind, as well as an unfinished regret. Shahao opened his mouth. Even though he respected Ghost Grandpa, there was truly no way of accepting this request of his. It was just too difficult for the grudges between himself and Heaven Mending Sect to be settled. When Shahao heard this, he became stupefied. These words were extremely simple, but the process was definitely complex and full of resentment and grudges. My teacher should have already passed away, so it would be without meaning even if I returned to Heaven Mending Sect. That woman, however, is still alive. Senior. Shahao cried out. The ancient sacred courtyard has the heaven mending technique, but seeing how you are most likely at odds against them, it isn't easy for me to pass it down to you either. Ghost Grandpa's figure became more and more indistinct. I'll gift this sword to you. It is held together from a divine mixture of phoenix beak and unicorn horn. Ghost Grandpa said. The black broken sword flew over, landing into Shahao's hands. He was quite familiar with the broken sword. This portion of the broken sword was damaged, and it was held together by a transparent plaster. However, he learned from Ghost Grandpa's final words that he definitely had an incomparably splendid past. Perhaps there were still a few places in the higher realms where his legend existed. Only, those who the heavens love die young. In the end, he still fell. Yin Yi truly is miserable, dying here because of a will. He definitely died with remaining grievances. Shahao activated the imperishable golden clothes. Divine flames surged and endless radiance rushed into the heavens. This boundless wave of divine force immediately shattered that male's sleeves, causing his palm to be drenched with blood. The demonic sunflower garden male was immediately alarmed. The other party unexpectedly had the aura of a deity. This was too sudden. Shahao erupted to the peak of his power. This first attack had not ended yet. He turned into a human-formed Kuan Peng and rushed upwards. 
With wings behind him, he displayed the Kuan Peng technique. Endless symbols appeared and attacked outwards. Meanwhile, at his side, the broken sword, Stone Country's golden magical sword, Country protecting Divine Halberd and other weapons rushed up together to attack. Divine Radiance erupted endlessly. Even though the demonic Sunflower Garden male reacted quickly and backed up, how could he be faster than the Kuan Peng technique? Now, equipped with the Deity Realm and imperishable golden body, it became even faster. The black-clad male screamed. In his surroundings, endless black sunflowers appeared. They grew frantically to block Sha Hao's attacks. Sha Hao's eyes shone. He grabbed one of the magical artifacts around him. This place became chaotic. All types of lights flew about in disorder. Kill. Sha Hao shouted loudly. His head of hair stood on end, and his pupils widened angrily. The great halberd in his hands hacked down ferociously. With the Kuan Peng's power, it erupted with the greatest offensive power. This male roared angrily. He had also become furious. Countless symbols appeared around him, and a great sun erupted behind his body. The demonic sunflower, he refined himself appeared to block the divine halberd. Sha Hao shouted. A pair of Kuan Peng wings moved behind him. Endless energy erupted, and both yin and yang energy swirled, scattering the flames. Sha Hao sighed, the golden divine magical sword flew out. It turned into a streak of divine rainbow light, and pierced through that man's shoulder, causing blood to spill all over the deity's body. The black-clad male cried out loudly, revealing a look of anger. He was so powerful, yet he was wounded by this glimmer of light. A black sunflower appeared. It turned into a black heavenly sun and surrounded him. He was going to fight a decisive battle against Sha Hao. In addition, hundreds to over a thousand streaks of black light flew towards Sha Hao, putting him in extreme danger. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.